Hey guys, what's up? Evil Zombie here. I wanted to talk to you about a microphone I just got. Uh, you got it on Amazon, and I love it. It's uh, from a company called Geardon. This is the Geardon GED-M02 microphone. It's a wireless microphone, as you can tell. Um, it's a dynamic microphone, which means it has a cardio, uh, cardioid polar, polar pattern, uh, pickup pattern, I mean, and it picks up everything from the front of the microphone, not in the side. It's weaker on the sides, and it doesn't pick up anything from the back. I'm going to show you this really quick by turning the microphone while I talk so you can see the difference. This is it from the side, this is it from the back. You really can't hear me while it's talking around. So now back to the front, you heard the difference. Just to let you know, I'm not going to do any post-processing. I'm not going to do any noise removal, no compression, nothing. I might boost the audio just a little bit. Right now I do have it plugged into my U uh, Behringer Euphoria UMC202HD audio interface. The gain is set at about 60% on there, 80% in my computer. I'll just boost the audio a little bit so you can hear clearly. And if you want to hear what it sounds like if it's plugged directly into a computer and not into an audio interface, using the adapter that they give you in the box that goes from quarter inch to the 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch, then here's what it sounds like. Okay guys, so this is what it sounds like if you use the included quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter that they include in the box and plug it in the receiver into your computer directly, not using an audio interface. This is what it sounds like. It will by default of course be 100% on volume. Just go into the audio settings and turn that back down to 80 and you'll notice a world of difference because it does run a little bit hot. Runs a little bit high. Just letting you know. Okay, so now you've heard what that sounds like. Let's actually talk about the, the specs of this thing. I have the spec sheet right here. It came with it. Inside the box, it did come with this spec sheet. It came with the adapter. It came with the charging cable. Here it is. And it also came with the receiver, the microphone, a windscreen, which I thought was a nice touch, and this. It's basically for if you have like sweaty hands or if you have a loose stand, you can keep it in there and it won't. the microphone won't slip. That's as far as my guess goes. It's not actually listed anywhere, and I can't find any information on this at all. Like, anywhere. Not in the manual, not in the on the Amazon or anything. So, that's actually a nice touch, though, because if you have sweaty hands, you're doing karaoke, you don't want someone to drop the mic on accident. So, I think that's pretty nice. Okay, guys. Back to it. Let's talk about the specs. So, both of these come with batteries, of course, and all the batteries do come in it with, with the box and all that. Um... First off, that uh, the receiver has a rechargeable ba uh, battery, so that's what the charger is for, of course, the receiver, and that lasts up to six hours. I think it's a 500 mAh battery. Now, wireless receiver, power consumption, yeah, that's a 500 mA. That's a, fi a 500 mA battery. Um, it should take about an hour to charge, and it should last for six hours. This uses two AA batteries that it comes with, and those last up to about 10 hours, according to this. Um, the frequency range for this is, let's see, I think it was 75, I am completely blind, uh, 75 hertz to 18 kilohertz. I'm not using my glasses right now, so I can't see for crap, but yeah, that's the frequency range. It's better for people with a higher, uh, voice register, people that have a, just a naturally higher voice. This is a lot better for their voice types. Um, someone that has a lot deeper of a voice. You can hear, pro right now I'm talking a little bit higher, so I don't affect it, but it gets a little boomy when it's when you get to the really low register, just let you know. But it sounds pretty good. It sounds nice and clear. It's great for doing singing. I'm not up much of a singer, so I can't show you. My wife's not here, so I can't have her. Um, but it's great. It has a good range of actual audible pickup that you can, or all the sound ranges that you can hear pretty much with the human ears. So you really shouldn't have any issue at all. Um, it can work up to 50 meters, so that's about 160 feet. You can walk around the stage, you can go around with it and it's fine, or you can be in a church, you can walk around and front to back of the church, 160 feet, you're fine. Most churches are probably about that anyways. Like all the way to the back door, I grew up in a small town with a small church. Um, let's see, it has a 50, what was it, 50 channel settings that you can turn it to to adjust it. There's a setting on here for it. There's a setting on there for it. Now I want to talk about the build quality. Let's see. The receiver, it does have a flexible antenna. Um, and it's made of plastic, the receiver. But it works. It stays plugged in. And it works really well. I like it. It's clear. It's crystal clear. I like it. Um, and it picks up 
Yeah, I said that. It picks up well. The microphone is a metal construction. All metal construction except for the end, which is plastic. And the button is rubber. I like it. It feels nice and solid. The display is actually very nice quality. It has a battery indicator to tell you how much battery you have. And also it has a range indicator to tell you how the signal is. So that's pretty cool. The signal strength that tells you what channel it's on also. So, and I really like the quality of everything. Um, underneath the, the was it right over the microphone capsule, the mesh protection for it, there is also a nice about eighth inch thick windscreen built inside it that's a good thickness. It helps protect it against plosives and they also included, of course, this windscreen which just helps even farther, especially if you use a lot of pa 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 ta 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 in all of your sentences. If it's really intense, it's not that bad. It doesn't pick up any noise outside and since there's no wire, it's really unlikely that you're going to get a lot of ele electric, this um, uh, static kind of noise in the backgrounds, even at a low range. It's very unlikely. You'll probably hear your computer fan before you hear any kind of low range hum. Uh, it's just for any kind of wind or air or any kind of background noises that it may pick up on the very, very low, f on uh, low end, uh, just do noise removal anyways and you should be fine. So I just wanted to show you that, guys. I do highly recommend it. If I would suggest anything to them at all, it's not really even a complaint. It's just maybe look into it in the future if you want to because it might be pretty good. I love everything else about it. Maybe put a retractable antenna or a slightly thicker cable, cover a thicker shielding for the antenna just so that it doesn't get crimped or bent in any way so that no one accidentally ruins it. It might help a little bit. Just an idea. I would highly suggest this to you guys. Get the microphone; it's a good price. Um, yeah, I'm also doing a. I'm also typing up a good review down below, so you can just read it if you want to as well. Okay, bye.